Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce the present tense conjugation of strong and irregular German verbs. You may find it useful to review the presentation on regular verbs before proceeding with this presentation. In addition to regular verbs, German also has many irregular and strong verbs. These verbs have unusual variations in the conjugation of the present and imperfect tenses, as well as in the formation of the past participle. The imperfect tense is also known as the preterite, or simple past tense. Irregular verbs are sometimes also called mixed verbs. Whatever they are called, you can find lists of these verbs and their four principal parts in your book or on the internet. It is very important to memorize these four principal parts as they will help you in your future study of German. As this presentation focuses on the present tense conjugation of strong and irregular verbs, we will only be dealing with the second principal part, the third person singular present tense verb form. We will look at the other principal parts in future presentations. The second principal part is important as it lets us know that the verb we are conjugating has unpredictable variations in the second and third person singular. This is a typical characteristic of most irregular and strong verbs. For example, you will note that the verb stem for the irregular verb haben, to have, retains the consonant letter b throughout most of the present tense conjugation pattern, with the exception of the second and third person singular, where the consonant is dropped. When dealing with irregular and strong verbs, then, we need to be aware that the second and third person singular conjugations will be different. The sentence sie hat, she has, shows the correct third person conjugation. The verb sehen, to see, is another example, this time using a strong verb. You will note that this conjugation pattern retains all the endings found in the conjugation pattern for regular verbs but that the verb stem in the second and third person singular shows a vowel change from e to the double vowels ie. The sentence sie sieht, she sees, shows the correct third person conjugation. Finally, the conjugation pattern for the strong verb sein, to be, is completely unpredictable and must be committed to memory. The sentence sie ist, she is, shows the correct third person conjugation. Although it may be difficult to memorize the four principal parts of irregular and strong verbs, with repeated practice you will begin to notice patterns that will help you. The main thing is not to give up and to keep trying. The five minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, associate professor of German. The videos, scripts, and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.